Yeah, I, uh, I'm back. It's been a while, but uh, I'm still alive. A lot of things have happened since you guys have been gone. A lot of things. One of them, that right there. So I ended up getting a new car, guys. No more sting ding. No. And I'm fu I'm stoked, dude. Honestly, I'm stoked. I ain't gonna talk about it anymore. This is a fishing channel, but like, look. It's a, definitely a uh, slight upgrade than what I had before. But we're gonna go fish today because we haven't fished in a while. And I'm when I mean a while, I'm talking about two weeks, three weeks ish. So it's 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 well overdue, quite frankly. And uh, we've got two and a half hours before I work. I'm gonna go fish down by my work at a new spot I've never been to, but one of my buddies told me, showed me some pictures of some nice ones that came out of there. So we're gonna try that out and hopefully not get absolutely skunked before work. And I'm gonna need the energy, I'm gonna need that. Just kicking the bass TV say that big bass energy. I'm gonna need some of that before work to, to, to get through the day. Let's get on the road and let's catch some, hopefully catch some fish. I like it. Still fits the rods, I can actually put that back seat down and uh, put my rod through there, so when I'm going to... All right, so let's uh, let's go and uh, catch some fish, guys. Thanks for clicking on the video. Real quick, if you are new here, hit that like button and subscribe button. Cause you're on the family. Hit that bell notification right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload as well. Uh, Cause YouTube has a funny way of not telling people when I upload, so hit that bell notification. But uh, let's keep the energy high today. New spot, finally, I'm fishing a new spot for once, and let's hope it pans out and we catch some nice ones before work, because that's always nice. It's fall, by the way, guys. Look, look at the trees. Okay, so one of the things that my friend said that he was catching them on was a jig, and the other thing was a was a crankbait. So I don't usually throw crankbaits, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to throw some crankbaits. I use it on I don't know I have a decent amount of them and I just don't ever throw them. So I don't know why, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Hopefully catch one on a crankbait today. That'd be nice. And uh, if not, you know I'll pick up the jig or a chatterbait because you know I fish those. Almost there. 1116 is the ETA and it is 1107. This is oh this is looking it's looking pretty good so far. So let's uh get the stuff out of the car and get the hour and a half of fishing. I gotta see how far I am from work first. I got a little bit of time to figure this place out. Okay, so it's windy, as you can see, really windy, but I've chosen to start out with the crankbait and the jig first. Which reminds me I need to put a jig trailer on my jig. Got the jig trailer on. It's the little, oh my God, there's something busting right there. I'm gonna throw a crankbait in there right now. Crankbait thrown at him. This reel has not been set up in like a year, so. Let's see what that was, dude. That was definitely a fish. That was rock. There's a lot of rock everywhere. Finding a new pond, or fishing a new pond. They were on six. I'm casting in on the wind, so I turned them up to 13. We're doing a jig. I'm sorry, crankbait. I love you, I really do, but like, right now, with all this rock, my heart's with the jig, so. Jig I'm using, by the way, is a Dirty Jigs finesse football jig. You know what? I'll, I'll link everything I use in this video down in the description, uh, from rod, reel, line, and bait. Like I used to do back in the OG days. I figured you guys think that's pretty helpful when I do that. So I'll start doing it. All the gear from now on will be linked in the description for you guys to check out if you're curious. By the way, I also haven't used this rod and reel combo in a long time. We're just bringing out all the stuff we haven't used today. Alright, well, big camera's gotta go back in the car because it's starting to rain and... 
this is the only thing on me that's not waterproof. So that goes in there. Locked. Lost the jigger out here a little bit. Like I don't want or something, I guess. Blue and black works. This so when I was looking at this thing on Google Maps, it was uh, it looked muddy, and then the pictures my buddy showed me looked muddy water. So I was like, okay, I'll go. Things that contrast muddy water very well. Blue and black, or black and chartreuse, like that crankbait, just darker colors. But I get here, and well, lo and behold, it's not muddy. It's actually pretty clear. It's not, I wouldn't go crystal clear, but it's got good visibility, probably a couple feet. Oh my goodness. Dude, I was swimming that thing back to me. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh my god, that was a good that's a good fish. I gotta get down here. Oh my goodness. Swimming the football jig back. And he crushes it. Oh my god, that's a good one. That's a good fish. That is a fatty, dude. What the f Are you kidding me? Alright. Thank you, buddy. That crush plate is all nice and red. I'm guessing, before I even look, I'm not even looking. I'm guessing high threes. Oh, I'm, I'm fing wrong. See what that says? You see that? 4.62. Give you a little bit of that hydration, son. How about this one? How about that guy right there? Big boy for the uh, for the win before work. Let's let him go. That was an ugly release, but there he goes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he was. That was weird, dude. That was, I, I don't even, I wasn't paying attention to how I was retrieving. I was just more focused on talking to the camera and what I was saying. So I don't know, I think I was swimming it. Again, um, in case you missed it earlier, this is the jig I'm throwing. It's a Dirty Jigs Finesse Football Jig. It's black, blue, and purple, actually. And then uh, I've got a Strike King Rage Trunk on the back in that blue and black flake. Also, in case I want to throw the crankbait again, I have tied on a Mega Bass Flap Slap in the bluegill color. Not necessarily the rod I want to throw it on, since it's like a hybrid jerkbait crankbait kind of thing. So we're going to throw on this jig a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And see if we can backlash. Dude, there is some shit busted everywhere in this freaking pond, dude. So I'm just busting what? foot offshore what the heck was that curious about the rod <coughs> you've seen it before if you've been here for a little bit it's a cash and it's a seven foot fast medium heavy um good for throwing jigs texas rigs this is this is my og jig rod one of my og jig rods i should say that hasn't gotten enough love here in the past couple of months so we're giving her some love today who broke her in nice too knocked off the desk real nice with that for you on there I'll take that any day. Any day. So I think I made a cast out there. And I was talking. Maybe I wasn't swimming it. I don't remember. I really don't remember. But I was just talking real and then it got thumped. My line went slack. So I set the hook and that thing did not move. He was actually starting to take the rod away from me. I was like, oh, well, that's a fish. There's one. Oh my God, dude. There's another good one, dude. That's another good one. That's another good one. Get out of the rocks. Get out of there, dude. That is another good one. I think they're over there. I think they're over there. They are over there and they are fat. They are over there and fat. Look at that. Oh my god, another big one. Just another hardy 
son of a gun, dude. Just another thick one. I'm gonna, okay. Wish I had gotten up at seven like I had planned instead of 10. Gotcha, buddy. He thought you had an easy meal. Wow, I was wrong again. These fish are thick, dude. You see that? These fish are thick. Four, just over four. Okay. <laughs> back to back, four pounders on the same spot, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Thank you. <laughs> I literally was talking about how I just made the same cast and I pulled a fish off of it. These things have been stabbing me in my f leg too long. I'm pumped. We got big bass energy over here. Yep, I'm stealing that from kicking their bass TV. I'm stealing it. What it is over there. Here's another good one. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. I'm having one of those days. I'm having one of those days. Yes, I am. I'm having one of those days. Oh my God. It is one of those days. Look at how he got, oh my God, dude. It is one of those awesome, awesome days. Another good one. He's been caught before too. He's got a little bit of something on this. Oh, what am I doing? I'm about to throw him on the scale. Yeah, he's definitely on the scale. I've been wrong on all my fish's guesses for the weight today, so I ain't gonna try on this one. I'm gonna just let the scale talk to me. Screw it. Set up. Down. Wait. Four eighteen. Three fish all over four pounds. How can you complain about that, dude? Long and beautiful. Long and freaking beautiful. I'm gonna smell like fish working all day today. <laughs> Let it grow. Let's just get a five fish limit. All my fish have been over. Four pounds. <laughs> There's something chasing bait right there. Dude, I love dude. This pond is really cool. It sets up perfectly. It sets up exactly how I like it to set up, dude. It's... There he is. Oh, another good one. Another good one. Jesus Christ. This is dude. This is stupid. This is dumb. This is dumb. What is going on right now? It's another solid one. It's a solid one. It ain't as big as we've been catching, but it's a solid fish. At that. Oh my God, come here. And he just chomped it, dude. I mean, chomped it. It's like a two and a half. Solid fish, dude. Barely hooked. is good our bag right now is pretty solid not gonna lie we've got a pretty solid four fish limit right now Not huge, but not bad. Another one. 
Sorry, didn't mean to drag on the rocks like that. Another one. Chunky. That's number five, boys. That is, uh... That is number five. So I got my five bass limit. I'm guessing he's about two pounds. It's thick. So that's number five, though. Two pounder. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Knock slacking it and ran. Knock slacking it and ran. This is the video. Oh my god, they're all fat as hell. I'm gonna. The other one, I guess, is about two pounds. This is a little smaller, a little shorter, I should say, than the other one. So we'll see what this weighs. Let's see if it's above two pounds. Get that hook out. Should be fine. We're gonna release them quick. It wasn't in the gale, it was in his tongue, so. 1.82, not an upgrade. So, let be the two pounder that we caught earlier. Thanks, buddy. You rock. Time to change the battery. We caught some nice fish. I'll throw it up on the screen here. Bam. That is, that's what the bag was today. Oh, Kidoki, these things are everywhere. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to end it here. Hit that like button and subscribe to join the family. I'll link everything that I use, all the gear, rods, everything, the baits, in the description if you're curious as to where to find them and want to pick some up. I'll link them all down below. But uh, as of, well, as for now, I will see you guys in the next episode of Southside Fishing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.